Assalamu alaikum everyone. It is such an honor to be standing here today. With that, I would like to thank Mountain House Muslim Association, Naim Bhai, Afshin, and all those people behind the scenes who have made this program successful. Thank you very much. Okay, um, it's never easy to go first. And this particular individual volunteered himself. So please welcome Ismail Malik. Sorry, everyone. My name is Ismail Malik. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, but I don't want you to answer it just yet. Instead, I would like you to think about it in your head as an item of speech. My question to you is what is Madras to you? Madras to me is a place. Madras is a community. Madras is a town. Madras is a village area. Madras is growing. Madras is amazing. Madras is full of nature. Madras is beautiful. Madras is home. For a long time, Madras was just a small town full of houses and no shops. Soon high schools built, and more elementary schools were added. Today we have Safeway, the new town hall, and the warehouse complex. More buildings have been built, but I feel that Madras is still the same at its core. Uh, more build Sorry. Uh, as more people come to Madras, new cultures and ideals are being added, growing our already flourishing community. But Madras has not changed in the sense of community. I feel that the core of Madras is a sense of community we all have. Madras has many communities, as like the Muslim community, the Sikh community, and many more other communities in Madras. In the Muslim community, we have different opportunities for the youth. We have Scouts, the YSL, uh, the Sunny Wish School, and the Khan Academy. The Islamic community is growing, especially with the Union Center, helping us gain one step closer to the dream of having our own place to pray. Uh, I would like to thank this time to thank the CSD for their help with the Unity Center. Thank you. <laughs> Madras has many communities. Uh, sorry. Madras is home where people live and socialize. Madras is a place for different cultures and ideals. Madras is constantly changing and adapting, but its core will always be the same. Madras is full of nature. Here we can see lots of trees and nature in general. I remember someone telling me that Great Valley Park used to be a road with no trees the whole way down. Now, a tree lines the entirety of the road. We can see rosemary bushes and mustangs and other places. In fact, I have four rosemary bushes, which is a lot. Madras is constantly changing. The more people coming, the more people moving out. But Madras, at its core, will always be the same. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have thought about what Madras means to you. Aisha Beg, and I'm going to be talking about Mountain House. Mountain House is a thriving community that has much to offer its residents. It provides a beautiful and peaceful environment, an amazing community, and plenty of recreational opportunities for people of all ages and lifestyles. I've been living in Mountain House for my entire life, and one of the main reasons why it's so appealing is because of its strong sense of community. The community of Mountain House is diverse and vibrant, consisting of young adults, families, and elderly. This diversity is what makes it stand out, and the people here are always willing to lend a helping hand. The sense of community here is strong and hard to find in many other places. Mountain House is known for its many social events and activities. From holiday celebrations and parades to farmers markets and concerts in the park, there's always something fun happening in the city. It's a place where people can come together to have fun, build relationships, and make memories that will last a lifetime. There are also several parks and recreational areas in and around Mountain House providing ample opportunities for hiking, biking, and other outdoor activities. Moreover, Mountain House is an affordable place to live in compared to many other parts of the San Francisco Bay Area. This, is, this makes it a great location for people who want to live in a high quality community without having to pay, without having to pay high living expenses. Finally, Mountain House has excellent schools, making it a desirable location for families with children. The schools in Mountain House are highly regarded for their academic excellence and extracurricular activities. This ensures that children receive a well-rounded education that prepares them for the future. In conclusion, Mountain House, California is an ideal place for individuals to call home 
because of its beautiful environment, strong sense of community, abundance of recreational opportunities, affordability, convenient location, and excellent schools. Mountain House has something to offer everyone. It is no wonder why it has become a sought after location for people looking for high quality of life in the Bay Area. Thank you. Thanks to all who those are glad to hear. Mountain House has been my home for the last six years. Ever since I moved to Mountain House, I felt I belonged here. Mountain House is a planned community in the San Joaquin County. It is a beautiful place surrounded by mountains and greenery, good schools, and amazing people. Over the years, me and my family have made lots of friends who are more like family. When I moved here in 2017, it was a very small town with not much homes. It felt like it was isolated from the rest of the places. It had no department store nor any business centers. Sometimes we had to go all the way to Tracy or Dublin to get other, uh, to get groceries or get other essentials. Moving from the Barry area, it was a bit of a struggle for us to adjust here. But over time, this place has won over us with its enduring people, safe environment, and good schools. A lot of changes happened during the past three years. More houses were built and new schools were constructed. There are a total of seven villages and each village has its own park and schools. The new park the new parks have been have been even better place have even better play structures and very good courts. The schools are highly rated. I am a proud student of Sebastian Quest Elementary. I love my school, my friends and my community. Over time I realized that not only I not only, uh, not only do our friends, but we are the biggest friend group in seventh grade. The new library and town hall came up in 2020. The library is much bigger and bigger than the previous one. We got our first department store, Safeway. The complex has some stores, restaurants, learning centers, and Starbucks. Another retail center was opened in Cordes Village near the high school. Mountain House is blessed by nature. We have lots of walking trails and pictures, creeks. The place is very good for like walking or biking. Not much, uh, not much farther is the Bethany Reservoir. It is a quiet place from the hustles and bustles of the city. The only main disadvantage living here is the traffic, as more, most of our parents commute to the Bay Area for their jobs. I hope in the future some steps will be taken to deal with it. Overall, Mountain House is a great and safe place to live with our family. I enjoy it here, and I, and I believe it is one of the best places to grow up. Mountain House has truly become my home. Thank you. My name is Aisha Obi and I will be talking about Mountain House. Mountain House is a lot of things. It is a neighborhood with families and communities. It is also home to some beautiful nature. The population is 25 to 30,000. There are all kinds of people living here. Uh, we have our big Mountain House Muslim community where we do all kinds of things like family and sports night. There are also seven schools filled with kids of all different backgrounds. This is how Mountain House is now, filled with people of all kinds. But it's not always been like that and what's behind that is a rich history. The Cholbon tribe of the Northern Valley Yopets were the original inhabitants of the land. Their territory ran along Old River, which runs off the San Joaquin River. The Yopet tribe, previously known as Mariposas, are an ethnic group of Native Americans native to Central California. They lived here in San Joaquin County. Later, gold miners coming from San Francisco needed to go to the Sierra Nevada foothills. They traveled via Altamont Pass. They passed through the area that is now our town. In 1849, Thomas Goodhill erected a denim cloth tent and the area served as a midway stopover for those on the way to the Sierra Nevada foothills. He eventually settled here and built a house named the Mountain House at the eastern edge of the Diablo Range Hills. A man named Simon Zimmerman acquired the house and Zimmerman's Mountain House became a very well-known station stop on the way to Stockton. The last remaining settlement buildings were leveled in 1940. In November 1994, the community of Mountain House was finally officially approved. In 1996, the master plan for the town was, was approved. The town was projected to be a small, full-fledged city developed over 30 years by the master developer Trimark Communities. It was planned to have 12 distinct neighborhoods centered around a neighborhood park and a K-8 school. Growth has slowed a bit over the years, specifically in 2008 due to the Great Recession, but those plans are what ended up as what Mountain House is today. Over the years, there have been a few milestones marking the growth of our town. In January 2003, the first home foundation court. The first school, Wickland, opened in August 2004. The growth, ever since the official approval in 1994, has been crazy. Over 28 years, there have been many milestones. 
From the first school being opened in 2004 to a 55,562 square foot supermarket, Safeway being opened recently in 2022. So Matanas is a town filled with people and nature, but it's also been a Native American territory, a midway stopover for gold miners, and a station shop for those headed to Stockton. Now, Mountain House is a home of its own to thousands. There are seven villages and schools. There are all kinds of people here who got here different ways. People have moved here with their families, moved here to start a family, and like me, have been born here. Throughout the, his, its history, Mountain House has been many different things to different people, and it will continue to be. You could describe Mountain House in so many different ways, and there are endless possibilities. Mountain House is diverse, beautiful, welcoming, and much more. But you should ask what Mountain House is to you. To me, Mountain House is my home. I was born here and have lived here all my life, and I don't see my home anywhere else. I've always gone to school here in Mountain House, and all the people close to me are here. I've been perfectly content living here. Mountain House could be hundreds of things to other people and people in the past, but one thing that's guaranteed is Mountain House is my home. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Arish Chaudhary, and I'm an eighth grader at Whitman. We have a lot of very educated people here, and to start, I wanted to ask you all what your careers were. Your project manager? That's really cool. I am also a project manager. The job of a project manager is to regulate and the ongoings of certain projects and set calendars. I'm a project manager. I have three projects that I'm currently managing in my triplet siblings. I hope to take care of their schoolwork and their food, and they're getting ready at 3 in the morning. I also manage my own activities. I manage to get ready for basketball tryouts, drama practice, and ASB. I take care of my homework, my laundry, and my bed being made. I practice for Quran class, the math Olympiad, and this speech. I'm also a firefighter. A firefighter's job is to make sure that there are no issues in a fire, and to help put out a fire. I fight fires everywhere in my life, at home, at school, and outside. I am a firefighter because I help to make sure that there are no problems in my home and in my schoolwork. I'm a firefighter because I fight fires in my social life and in my family life. I'm also a teacher. A teacher's role is to inform people. I'm a teacher because I help teach my siblings as they're growing up. I also teach my peers at school when I can. I'm a teacher in this community because I try to set examples for younger members of the community. I'm also a doctor. A doctor's job is to make sure is to take care of people when they are hurt or sick. I'm a doctor because whenever somebody in my family is hurt or sick, I try to help when I can. Finally, I'm also a student. Not only in school, but in everywhere else too. I learn from my parents and from my family. I also strive to learn from my peers at school. And I learn how to become a better project manager, a firefighter, or a teacher, or anything else from people in this community like you. But at the end of the day, I may wear all these hats, but I'm still yet to go to high school. Thank you. My name is Hassan, and today I'm going to be talking about myself, namely how I am a student. I'm a student, a student of many, many things. Like most kids my age, I'm a student at school, where I learn lots about various subjects, some of which I already use, some I will use when I grow up, and maybe some that I won't, like pi. Let me clear this up. I know pi can be used for many, many things. But in my current limited knowledge, I cannot think of anything for which I need to memorize this particular constant. I know everyone uses alphabet and numbers. Before I move on, I want to ask you all a question. By a show of hands, how many of you, just to be clear, I'm only talking to the adults in this room, how many of you consider yourselves to be students? Throughout my speech, I will mention a lot of things for which I believe you will be able to relate to, showing that you all are, in fact, students. The first being, I am a student of Islam. I learn about prophets like Prophet Muhammad and about how and about and uh, all about Islam, like how to pray, fast, give charity, and respect. I will continue learning about Islam throughout my entire life, and through Islam, I will learn about life lessons like patience, forgiveness, being caring and generous, doing the things that I love, accepting who I am, and most importantly, being grateful for what I have. I am a student of Scouts, where I learn to lead and survive in the world. 
And in our troop, I was the SPL, which is known as the Senior Patrol Leader. What I would do is I would lead the meetings, and if anyone needed help, they would come to me. Like I said before, Scouts teaches me to survive. For example, take knots. If you need to tie one thing to another, you would know which knot would be most effective and how to tie it. Scouts is a journey that incorporates all aspects of life. And as a student, I have learned and gained so much. Now I hope to use these skills I've learned and hopefully pass them on to others. I am a student at soccer practice where I learn to do fun stuff like chipping balls with people and doing big kicks. The thing that I find most fun is winning soccer games and also doing moves with the ball. I have been and still am a student of martial arts. I started when I was three years old and in that time I have learned to do many stuff like lots of punches, kicks and lots of forms. But most of all, I learned how to defend myself. To summarize up everything that I've just said, I am a student of life. Thank you all for listening. Any questions? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm going to shake it today. I'm going to be talking about Mountain House. I personally think that Mountain House is a great town and a great community. It's something with cherishing, preserving, and celebrating. Because of Mountain House, I have completely changed into it. I've met people that I feel like I wouldn't be the same without. The Cowboys have found amazing people here completely shocked me. Another thing that shocks me though is the wind. In this town, the wind just pushes up wherever we need to go, whether it's within market or the same way. One of our great qualities is being resourceful. Even in a small suburban place like this, we still find ourselves making everything work out. Have you ever read the newsletter named Mountain House Matters? There's a long pub there's a long list of public services that just proves how much we depend on each other. These services are created by people in our very own community. One great resource we've created in MHMA is Family Night, which is just one of many examples. We also have Scouts, Elite Sunday School, a youth internship program, a youth soccer league, youth prayers, an annual summer picnic, drama prayers, public sports, and many other things. Our resourcefulness can't be doubted. Uh, our quality of being resourceful is motivated by our constant feeling of wanting to help each other. If you haven't noticed, we have extremely kind and passionate community. This isn't even just for Edmonton May, but I'm talking about Mount House in general. The people here will always strive to be better, kinder, and more caring than they were the day before. Our great qualities ensure a great future for this time. I'm sure you've heard of the phrase, you are who you surround yourself. This is completely true. It's also relevant, because if a kid is raised in a community filled with warm-hearted and leader-like people, they will turn out to be just like them. We as kids continue, continuously gain more skills and knowledge from this great town of great people. Mountain House to me is an amazing place. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. My name is Zebria. Um, I've lived here for almost 10 years now. I've loved every minute of it. Today I want to talk to you about why somebody would want to move into Mountain House and what's so special about our little town here. Mountain House is a wonderful place to call home. From its stunning natural beauty to its welcoming community, the shop. There are countless reasons why anyone should consider moving to this fantastic place. First and foremost, the scenery in Mountain House is simply breathtaking. Located in the foothills of the beautiful California mountains, the town offers stunning views of rolling hills, expensive fields, and, tow and towering trees. Whether you enjoy hiking, biking, or simply taking a stroll, the natural beauty of it will take you away. The scenery alone is the reason to consider moving to Mountain House. Beyond its natural beauty, Mountain House also uh, boosts a strong sense of community. Um, the people who have lived here are friendly, welcoming, and always ready to help, help you out. In addition, its natural beauty and welcome community, Mountain House is also a great place to raise a family. The town is a home to top-rated schools, parks and recreational activities that will keep your kids active and engaged. From sports teams to after school clubs, there's something for, your ch for every child in Mountain House. And with a low crime rate and a strong sense of safety, you can rest easy knowing that your family is protected. Another reason to move to Mountain House is the cost of living. Compared to other cities in California, Mountain House is surprisingly affordable. Housing prices are lower than in many areas, and the cost of living is generally lower as well. This means that you can enjoy all the benefits of living in a beautiful, welcoming community without breaking the bank. Finally, Mountain House is conveniently located to major cities like San Francisco, Sacramento, and San Jose. 
This means that you can enjoy all the benefits of living in a small town while still being able to, uh, within easy reach of big cities. Whether you're looking for a night out on the town, a shopping trip, or a culture experience, you'll never be far from everything that California has to offer. In conclusion, there are countless reasons why you should consider to move to Mountain House. From its stunning natural beauty to its welcoming community, there's something for everyone in this fantastic location. If you're looking, if if you're looking for a place to call home that offers all benefits of a small living town, look no further than Mountain House. Thank you. Um, my name is Freya, and today I'll be talking about Mountain House. Mountain, Mountain House is an amazing place to live in. Um, it is good in many ways. One of the one of the de um, benefits is that there are many good people and um, schools. The people are nice and always welcoming. There are many amazing people that are always ready to help you in any way. I went to different schools and every and there are different types of people in different schools with different backgrounds. And in Mountain House there is um, beautiful, it's beautiful and there's nature everywhere you look. There is a lot of fresh air and you can enjoy it while um, doing anything. Um, some some disadvantages are that there are not many stores nearby, but um, Safeway opens here, and it's better than those stores. Um, many of the places that used to be close to my old house are farther away. But if you learn to adapt, um, you will always be with people that are family. Um, in conclusion, Ma Mountain House is home to is a, an amazing place. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Daniel Malik, and I'm going to talk about myself. Before we get started, can we get a raise of hands for the people having a great day? Good. Well, hopefully this speech will improve your day even better. So as I said, I'm going to talk about myself. More specifically, I am a leader. I'm a leader of many things. But what is a leader? Anybody? Yes, a leader is a person who guides others to bring out the best in themselves for a given task or for their team. By a raise of the hands, who here thinks of themselves as a leader? Well, everybody here is a leader. A leader does not have to know everything. You are a leader as a, as a parent. You are a leader as a Teacher, you are a leader as a sibling. You are a leader as a peer. Like in sports, if your team is not winning, you have to be a leader and you have to be a leader by encouraging them, by supporting them, by leading them, irrespective of whether you're the team captain or not. That is why I am a leader in soccer, even though I'm in fact the team captain of my team. To be able to play a sport, you need to have confidence to play your best ability. And that is what a leader can help bring out. Which brings me over to Boy Scouts. I am a leader in Boy Scouts. I am the senior patrol leader, which means I have to lead troop meetings and lead troop meetings. Scouts builds up confidence and that with what I've learned and that combined with what I've learned in this course has given me the confidence to lead in front of you all. Now, leading is not just a click of the fingers. Leading has a lot of effort and work behind the scenes. Let me give you an example. Scouts, like when I lead troop meetings, I have to 
what activities to do, who will help me, the volunteers, how long it will take, these are just to name a few. The preparation is, in, is important to perform in life, for, to lead as well. Everything that you do in life requires confidence. And being able to lead team people in team activities to help yourself win. A leader has to listen to their teammates to be a good leader. Excuse me, this is one of the reasons I am able to lead well. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. My name is Zaki Khan. Have any of you had to call the cops because something or someone was in your house at night? Well, I have, right here in Mountain House. First, what is Mountain House? It's a village, isn't it? Well, not just that. One of the biggest things that separates Mountain House from other places is its community. However, what truly makes Mountain House so special is the people. Despite starting as a small town, Mount House has grown into a vibrant community that is diverse and welcoming. For example, the Muslim community. We come together to play sports and have gatherings in places like this. Mount House is also a much safer town than other places. The police are very responsive and very quick. How would I know? Well, one night I was alone in my house in my room when I heard a clashing noise downstairs. My first thought was that there is a ghost in my house. But my second thought was that there is somebody downstairs and nobody was coming home anytime soon. After calling everybody who could be in my house, I turned to the cops and called 911. After just minutes in my room with my phone in my hand, they arrived, clearing every room in, that, in my house and even the backyard to ensure I was safe. The dispatcher was on call with me throughout the entire situation and instructing me on what to do. Fortunately, nothing was in the house and the cops said it was most likely wind rattling the window, but I still believe it was a ghost. <laughs> Turning to your brighter page, what I like about Mountain House is although it's a tight-knit community, I can still have fun with my friends. For instance, I can bike to my friend's house and we can go on dirt trails around the creek, or take a walk in the park and see many familiar faces every single day. Hanging out, playing sports, and going bike riding, or just talking with my friends is in and out of school is not something that everybody can experience, yet we can in Mountain House. As a kid, one of the biggest things is to have fun, and that is what Mountain House allows us to do. These times are what makes Mountain House genuinely unique. There's always something happening in Mountain House, whether it's the Sunday food markets, sports events, or parties. No matter what your age or background, you'll find a group of people who share your interests. It's truly inclusive and a welcoming town that I'm proud to be part of. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum everyone. I'm Sada Sadiq, and today I want to talk to you about why living in Mountain House is a great choice. Mountain House is a wonderful place. As someone who has lived here their whole life, I can tell you firsthand that there are many benefits to living here. Mount House was first built in 2004 and was a ghost town. Now, 19 years later, it is a much bigger place with many opportunities for everyone. First and foremost, Mount House has great views on whichever part you live in. You can wake up and look out your window and see beautiful mountains. Imagine waking up every morning to the sight of the sun rising over the distant peak or watching the stars twinkle in the night sky. In addition to the scenery, living in Mount House can also be incredibly beneficial to kids. There are many elementary and middle schools here in Mountain House, including a high school and a community college. Another plus is that there's a school in every village, so it won't be a long drive or walk. Living in Mountain House can also be a great investment. With the rise of remote work and the increasing demand for second homes, Mountain House properties have become a hot commodity in recent years. By owning and or buying a home here, you can not only enjoy all the benefits I've mentioned, but also potentially, potentially increasing your wealth over time. In conclusion, there are many reasons why living at Mountain House is such a great choice. From the stunning views and peaceful surroundings to great education, it's a lifestyle that's hard to beat. So if you're considering a change in scenery or looking for a new investment opportunity, I highly recommend looking into Mountain House. Thank you for listening. My name is Yaro Kass, and I stand before you all today not as a machine, 
not as an animal, but as something much more different, a human being. As a human being, I possess the power, the power of thought and have, a, and have the capacity to create. I am capable of complex emotions and have empathy. I have, the capability, I have the capability to learn from my mistakes and grow as a person. These qualities set me apart from any other creature on this planet. With great power also comes great responsibility. I'm responsible for my own actions. My actions have impacts on others, and I am responsible for the way I treat other people and the, and the world we live in. As a human being, I have a duty to make this world a better place. As humans, we have the ability to create art, music, and literature that can move us to tears, make us laugh, and inspire us to be better people. We build healthy, we build healthy, safe, and prosperous communities. We can cure diseases and solve the world's biggest problems. But being human also means we are valuable. We make mistakes, we have weaknesses, and, and we are most certainly not perfect, but it's our imperfections that make us who we are. That makes us relatable to one. Since we are humans, that makes us relatable to one another. That makes us strive to be better. It is the mistakes we make and challenges we face that makes us grow and learn. So I stand before you today, a human being, not perfect, but I strive to be better. And I invite you in, and I, and I invite you in embracing humanity and working towards a better future for, for us all. Let us be kind to one another. Let us help you. Let us help each other, and let us work towards making this world a better place. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. My name is Mahir Loti, and today I'll be talking about something I'm sure everyone here is familiar with, Mountain House, California. Located in the east region of the San Francisco Bay and being part of the San Joaquin County, Mountain House is actually considered one of the best places to live in the entire state of California. With its beautiful setting and top-rated schools based on academic performance and variety. The area, which was founded in 1996, consists of seven villages, Cuesta, Bethany, Altima, Wickland, Anson, Cordes, and College Park, majority of which have their own school and park. There's one common high school and another one being built and a community college. Some of these are old homes, while other, uh, some of these homes in the villages are old, while others are newly constructed and built with a modern design. Which brings me to my next point. My family and I moved here August to September of 2019, and there have been so many significant changes in the almost four years that we've been here. After the COVID-19 pandemic, the city started to thrive more than ever with the opening of Safeway, Starbucks, Tea Hub, and various other stores, which limited like the time we had to go to Tracy and all those other places. The use of this Unity Center we're all standing in right now social events, and much more. There's so many people putting their minds together and coming up with brilliant ideas to make this community better. One of my favorite parts of Mountain House is MHMA, which stands for Mountain House Muslim Association. This is a, this is a nonprofit organization devoted to helping the Muslim community in Mountain House and in surrounding areas, like Tracy, which is a city around 10 minutes from here. There are so many hardworking volunteers and official members which help the Muslim community around here. With events such as Family Night, WISH, which is an Islamic school for grades kindergarten through 10th, um, either Ramadan events like iftars and prayers, public speaking, like the public speaking which is brought here, halakas and other programs, MHMA really makes an impact on Mountain House. And honestly, I could go on and on about what they contributed, which is why this is like really good to have here. With all these programs and people, this growing town is welcoming in a place of d where different ethnicities, religions, and beliefs come together. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ashraluk, and I'm almost 13 and I'm in the seventh grade. I'm also in Boy Scouts uh, Troop 599. Let me tell you about myself to you. Some of my hobbies are playing many different sports, playing video games, typing, and swimming. My favorite uh, sport I like is soccer, and I get to decide what I want to be when I grow up, but it's most likely going to be a soccer player. <laughs> There's a tryout for my soccer uh, in school, and I made it 
I was really proud of myself because uh, it will help me improve uh, with my soccer skills and it gave me opportunity to get better and apply that to my West Coast soccer team. Most of my weekdays are spent at school. For school, I usually wake up around 7 and come back home around 3.30. When I come back from school, I am usually tired, so I eat a snack to keep me energized since I use most of it at school. In my free time, I like to play uh, action and horror games. I usually find my sister to get the game, but she always ends up taking it instead. <laughs> the games I like to play are Overwatch, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and King's Quest. Some of my all-time favorite movies and TV shows are Interstellar, DC movies and uh, Marvel movies, and also anime. My favorite anime include Attack on Titan. I'm sure my, many of you know that, and I can't wait for the new season to come out. Uh, another one is uh, Demon Slayer, and uh, finally is uh, My Hero Academia. Sometimes I like to get out of the house and hang out with my friends. Otherwise, I would just sit on my phone every day, which I know is not good. <laughs> If I don't have anything else to do, I might get work from my mom, or just I just watch or do dramas from uh, from my mom and dad. My mom encourages me to watch them uh, because it will improve my or do. Sometimes when my whole family is downstairs, we usually watch a movie or play a, a game together. Through my time at my house, I have made a lot of friends from school as well as, as outside of school. I'm happy that my mom and dad enrolled me in Boy Scouts because I did different kinds of activities. It's fun for me and also it improved my confidence with other people. I'm also thankful to my mom and dad enrolling me in this public speaking class because it taught me how to speak clearly, how to think of ideas quickly and improve my speaking with confidence. Thank you all for listening to our speech about me. Also, I have one story. Five cents. <laughs> Everybody, uh, my name is Amar Joffrey, and so uh, have you ever dreamed of living in a place where the wind is wild, the parks are plentiful, and the people are top notch? Well, look no further than the Mountain House. First of all, let me tell you about the wind. If you're the kind of person who loves to feel the wind in their hair, then Mountain House is the perfect place for you. It's a bit brief. It's a it's a bit breezy around here, so make sure you hold onto your hats and secure your outdoor furniture. But don't worry, the wind keeps things fresh and invigorating. You know what they say, folks, all work and no play makes for a very boring day. That's why Mountain House is jam-packed with parks for all ages. There are playgrounds where the little ones can swing on the swings, slide down the slides, and get their faces covered in sand. And for the adults, well, there are plenty of benches to sit and complain about their backs while the kids run wild. Oh wait, there's more. These parks aren't just for kids. You can bring your whole family and even your friends too. There are picnic tables where you can enjoy a nice lunch and swap your favorite gossip. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even challenge your friends to a game of frisbee or tag. And let me tell you folks, the people in Mount House are the icing on the cake. They're, friend they're kind, friendly, and always willing to lend a hand. Need help fixing a, fiki a leaky faucet? Don't worry, your neighbor, awesome uncle, will know just a trick. Feeling under the weather, your other neighbor of Shinanji will bring you some homemade soup and tell you stories about organizing community events. And it's not just about the small stuff either. When someone in the community is going through a tough time, the whole town rallies together to support them. Whether it's a bake sale, a fundraiser, or just a listening ear, uh, you can always count on your mountain house neighbors for a friendly cheer. Of course, living in such a tiny community does come with its drawbacks. If little Shamir or Zechariah will get in trouble for egging Umar Uncle's house, <laughs> you bet the entire town will hear about it within minutes. You'll probably hear it on some of the WhatsApp groups. Um, and don't even get me started on the dogs without leashes. Those little rascals are always chasing after unsuspecting pedestrians. But hey, there's a fine for that, so at least the town gets some revenue. So, if you're looking for a place to have some good old-fashioned fun, make new friends and live in Mountain House, where g people genuinely care about each other. Mountain House is the place to be. Thank you. A wonderful place to live. If you're looking for a place to call home, where the environment is 
nice, the people are amazing, um, the Muslim community is great, and the parks are good places to play, but look no further than the Muslims. First and foremost, let's talk about the environment. Montanas is nestled in the, uh, in the beautiful foothills of the San Joaquin County, surrounded by lush greenery and breathtaking scenery. Um, the air is crisp, crisp and fresh, and the community is surrounded by nature at its finest. Whether you enjoy hiking, um, playing basketball, biking, playing soccer, or simply taking a leisurely walk, you'll find plenty of places to explore in Mountain House. But what makes Mountain House truly special is its people. The community here is diverse and welcoming, uh, and you'll find neighbors who are always ready to lend a helping hand. The Muslim community in particular is an integral part of the Muslim uh, in Mount Nasser, and they have a wonderful community center where they are gathered to pray and share in their faith. When it comes to recreation, Mount Nasser is, um, has plenty of options to keep you and your family entertained. The parks here are top notch with playgrounds, sports fields, and picnic areas that are perfect for spending time with loved ones. Um, if you're looking for community events, you'll never be disappointed in Mount Nasser. There are always festivals, fairs, and gatherings happening throughout the year, bringing the community together in celebration. In conclusion, if you're looking for a place to call home and has it all, then Mountain House is the place for you. With this beautiful environment, amazing people, great Muslim community, and plentiful community events and parks, it's easy to see why Mountain House is such a, a wonderful place to live. There are many more things to come in this area. For example, the new Safeway that is newly here. Thank you for your time, and I hope you'll take time to really take a look at the smaller things that Mountain House has to offer. Thank you, Shabir. That was great. I'm Hadra, and today I'm going to be talking about why Mountain House is a great place. Did you know that the name for Mountain House originated back when in the gold rush? Yes, that's how long this name has been long here for. Mountain House first started developing in 2002, and by this year, our population in Mountain House has gone around 20, 25,000 people. Mountain House is a great place to live, and for me, it is a very special place because it's, because it's very scenic, quiet, and has a great community. The things I love most here about Mountain House is the lush green hills, which is now currently being covered in snow, the pretty almond flowers you can see while you're driving driving by Mountain House, and my best friends. Hanging out with my best friends gave me a great excuse to go to Tea Hub. And above all, I love my community. My community has hosted several events, made fun activities, and classes for kids to bring everyone together. Thanks to our MHMA, I'm having a great time here in Mountain House. And one more thing, I love the parks here in Mountain House. Wherever you enter these parks of Mountain House, you will always be greeted by a smile by some people or even a rabbit. As mentioned before, Mountain House has great opportunities for kids. For example, it has basketball classes, badminton, scout trips, and other extracurricular activities. By do making these events possible for kids, it helps us socialize. And for me, I believe it made me more self-confident. Lastly, Mountain House is a very organized place and the villages have good infrastructure. There are different villages such as Altima, Hansen, College Park, Bethany, and so on. Some of these villages are still being worked on such as College Park. These villages could be either old or new, but each village has something unique to offer. Our Mountain House is still developing and with lots of opportunities around us, and I'm very excited to grow up with Mountain House. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. First, I would like to thank Mina Auntie and Avshin Auntie and all the other organizers for organizing this uh, program and helping me with public speaking. Let's see if it worked. <laughs> my topic is my hometown, Mountain House. Mountain House is a place close to my heart and what I call home. I moved to Mountain House from Fremont back in 2014. I have seen this gritty city grow from farm farmlands 
to a splendid social community. I love everything about this. Uh, I love everything about this place. Seeing windmills on the distant hills, turkeys roaming around, biking with my friends throughout the community, and just being outdoors at parks, schools, and other recreational areas. I spend time outdoors with my friends and family, exploring the surrounding areas. What's most attractive about my mountain house is that we are a diverse community. The racial makeup is very encouraging with a growing po youth population of all ages. There have been some exciting new additions to a beautiful community. We now have a library which offers plenty of education and learning opportunities. We have a town hall and an upgraded office space for MXCSD and a Safeway, Starbucks, and many other new restaurants. In my hometown, one thing never changes. The warm concerns that the residents have for one another and the connectedness of the community through social media and through other social events. As we grow, I believe it is important that we continue to be welcoming and ensure we are a closely knit community. A highlight of my time here at Manon House has been the freedom with which me and many others can practice our religious beliefs. There are 500 to 600 Muslim families and growing in Mountain House. Um, as a Muslim, we love our events. The Eid gatherings, the Central Park barbecues, Boy Scout Connects, YSL, and many, mother, and many more. It is promising to see that MSCSD has partnered with MHMA to establish the Unity Center, where we get an opportunity to perform our Friday prayers. My dream is that someday we will have our own facility, a masjid in Mountain House that every Muslim here gets to experience, contribute towards. Inshallah, this day will come soon. Thank you. And today I'm going to talk about Mountain House. Mountain House is a suburban community in the San Joaquin County, California. It is located in the East Bay region of the San Francisco Bay Area at the border of San Joaquin County and the San Francisco Bay Area. Mountain House lies on the foothills of Diablo Range and close to Altamont Pass, which is over 1,000 feet in elevation. Mountain House covers nearly 5,000 acres of land and includes retails, market, restaurants, schools, community centers, trails, parks, and more. Mountain House has seven villages, Wickland, Cuesta, Altamont, Bethany, Hanson, Cortez, College Parkway, and more in planning. Each village has or will have an elementary and middle school in the center of the village so kids can walk to school. There's also one high school for the entire community that has a gym, swimming pool, and a football field. Mountain House Market has also recently opened with a grocery store, coffee shop, gas station, a convenience store, etc. There are also a few restaurants planned for the future. There is a town hall and a library which is located near Central Park. Mountain House also has a fire station. During the COVID pandemic, the population increased rapidly. A lot of people from the city moved to Mountain House. A lot of people from other cities moved to Mountain House. The latest, um, the latest um, population recorded in 2023 is close to 29,000 people. It can get rainy and windy in Mountain House. During spring and early summer, the wind can reach up to 15 to 25 miles per hour for most days. Many times, trampolines, chairs, mini slides, etc., have been blown away from people's backyards due to Mountain House wind. Overall, Mountain House has grown to a pretty good family-friendly no, community. Cocoa. community. Cocoa. Growing up and living here for most of my life has taught me to love Mountain House as my true home. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Hello and assalamu alaikum everybody. My name is Hadra Khan and it is my great pleasure to be speaking today about my hometown. I have lived in Mountain House my whole life, and I'm proud to say that I come from a town that holds a special place in my heart. Mountain House is a small town located in the Central Valley. The town is surrounded by fields, mountains, and it has a view that is truly breathtaking. The air is clean and fresh, and the atmosphere is peaceful and calming. It's a place where you can truly relax and escape from the hustle in the city. One of the things that makes Mountain House so special is its people. The locals are welcoming, friendly, and always willing to lend a helping hand. They have a strong sense of community and take pride in their town. Whenever there is a celebra celebration or a community event, everybody comes together to help and make it a success. It's this sense of togetherness that makes Mountain House feel like a family. 
There are many things to do in my hometown, whether it's walking on the creek, taking a stroll on a trail, or visiting the farmer's market every Sunday morning. At the, um, there's always something um, to keep you busy. At the end of the day, wherever, you, wherever I go, Mountain House will always be home. Thank you and Jazakallah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, my name is Arish Bengali, and today I'll be talking about Mountain House. Mountain House has been my home for the past eight years. It is a beautiful and safe community located in San Joaquin County, California. A total of seven villages make up the, make up the town, and each of them has unique names. The names are Cuesta, Altima, Wickland, Bethany, Hansen, Cordes, and College Park. E each every village has its own school that offers a great education to all the children of the community. Students can learn on a drug-free and safe campus with the proper resources. The school staff prevent anything adverse from happening all around the campus, and if something terrible does occur, they'll react with a quick response. The schools have both academic and sport-related teams. Examples include sport teams like soccer, which is my favorite sport, and academic teams like science Olympiad. One of Mountain House's most important assets, in addition to its schools, is safety. Compared with the national average, Mountain House's primaries are 2% you know, lower and its property primaries are 3% lower. The chances of becoming a victim of crime are estimated to be 1 in 475. Additionally, the 24-7 patrols of the Sheriff's Department help to create an atmosphere of security. Another aspect of the city that is important uh, is its cleanliness. The trees and bushes in the town are constantly trimmed, and the roads are cleaned almost every week as well. By doing so, this town stays clean and looks beautiful. It is also worth mentioning that the town has many parks where residents can spend time socializing or simply laying around. Sometimes the board even hosts fun uh, programs in the park. They host things like music in the park, in which you can go to the park and a band would be playing many of your favorite songs. There are even food stalls and games in case you get hungry or bored. Of course, this is just one of the many fun events they've organized. If you ever need to quickly buy groceries, you could always go to the seafood right next to Central Park. It's so close to Mountain House that you could walk out there from Cuesta in under five minutes. You know, even if you don't need to buy groceries, you could always go there to spend time with your friends at Starbucks, at the Starbucks right next to it. Not only that, but if you feel hungry, you could always grab some pizza for Mountain Lakes. Now, the most important thing about Mountain House is its community. Mountain House is a culturally, uh, culturally diverse, uh, uh, culturally diverse community in which there are many religious associations that have many events and even private religious classes. One example is MHA. MHMA stands for Mountain House Muslim Association. It is a big organization led by various people. In fact, they have organized today's at uh, ceremony. They, uh, they also have many events like family nights where they have uh, talks about how to live a good life and religious things. Now, their events bring people together and allow them to, to uh, allow them to learn while having a good time. They even offer religious classes with the aim to teach younger generations about their religion and how to make the, the right choices. I'm blessed that my parents have chose to move to Mountain House as I live in a great community. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum. My name is Kanza. I'm going to talk about Mountain House. Mountain House is a nice community where people come together and have no, events and parties. Mountain House is a new town and was built in 1996. Like. Many new villages are in Mountain House, like Bethany, Altima, and more. There's library stores and homes still being built. Like the subway, a um, Safeway, opened at Mountain House, like some weeks ago. And the library here at Mountain House is new and filled with education for kids to come and read. taking time to come to this event and you know sharing your time with the kids who really worked hard in this program and thank you very much for sister nina for running this uh, and brother Naveed for coming up with the idea and the two of you have done a tremendous job i think amor asked the question that you know has this worked 
I think my verdict it is has. Uh, let me have a show of hands if you think that you know the kids have done a wonderful job. So, you know, I, I, I can genuinely tell you that I've been surprised. I was not expecting this quality of uh, you know uh, public speaking uh, by the kids, and it's really encouraging. And I'm hoping next year, the next uh, you know we continue this, open it to a wider set of people. I mean, I always saw this as a pilot. Uh, what MHMA does, and you know, just to give a bit of an insight, I mean, we really flourish from a perspective that we provide the platform for individuals who come up with the ideas and then run with it. Pretty much, other than the logistical support, logistical support, we really haven't done much. It's incredible to see when people have the drive to, you know, give to the community, uh, and that's what basically makes a community. And. A lot of the speeches today were about mountain house, a lot of what, what about leadership and other things as well, but I, it was refreshing to see a lot of them were about mountain house. And it's good to see that the kids actually recognize, you know, the, something good that they have. And that's a credit and a testament to, uh, you know, our honored guest here, uh, President Tingle, who has been the board member since the very first board was uh, formed in mountain house and has been uh, serving this community tirelessly uh, and you know you, you, <laughs> well, you've shown great amount of patience and you know you were your first year before anybody else uh, today as well i'm really really honored for you to you know stick around listen to every speech this is what makes you a great public servant you know and i look up to you from a leadership perspective i know some of the speeches were about leadership so here's an example right in front of us you know how leadership is done you know with completely selfless uh, effort, you know, I know that I've worked with you uh, closely and I know, you know, what, what drives you and it inspires me on a daily basis. So I, I you know, I'm really grateful for you too. And uh, so now I'm going to just pass it on to you and put you on the spot to come and you know, share your thoughts. Good evening, everyone. Assalamu My name is Bernice King Tingle, and as Omar, Omar said, I am currently serving you as president on the Mountain House CSD. I'm here today to talk about Mountain House, but that's these young people over here. That's Mountain House. This is our future, and these kids have done a remarkable job today, and they are Mountain House, so that's what I'm here to talk about. My topic today is the significance of public speaking and leadership. These young people are all leaders and they're all excellent public speakers. My subtopic is why is public speaking important to youth? But first I just wanna go through the definition of what is public speaking. So I'll do kind of Webster's definition. The definition of public speaking, the process and act of speaking or giving a lecture to a group of people in a structured, deliberate manner intended to inform, influence, or entertain a listening audience. I'm gonna stop here and do a little editorial. Did we not get entertained by some of our uh, leaders? Did they do a wonderful job? Did we not get informed? Okay, so, if, so far as I'm saying, they're, they're uh, public speakers and they gave us information. Every young person gave their synopsis of what Mountain House is to them, the things that they've experienced. Now, I'm not the official fact checker, but everybody was right on. The information was informative and it was accurate. Now, going on to what public speaking is, public speaking also called oratory or oration was traditionally meant the act of speaking face to face to a live audience. Were we not live? You know, the internet, Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, etc. You know, I wasn't born in the techie techie age, but there's a lot of ways that you communicate. Those things weren't around many, many, many years ago. But one thing that's always been around is public speaking. That's the way people communicate it. So it's essential and important that people learn to 
communicate as leaders, and be effective public speakers. And you guys are spot on. Guys and girls, excuse me, are spot on. Now, all leaders must live. Oh, no, I should say all leaders must go live. I like little acronyms that I make. The CEOs, which are chief executive officers, presidents, doctors, lawyers, teachers, politicians, and the list goes on and on and on. These people all have to go live. So going live means you have to be able to communicate, get folks' attention, and get buy-in. Did not these young people get our attention? And did not we buy into what they had to say? That's effective leadership and that's effective public speaking. But right now, I just wanna go over uh, just a few things that I had made note of that what is, uh, what is a good public speaker? And what public speaking does, it helps you to gain and build confidence. And that's what you were doing today, gaining and build confidence in yourselves. And when you have confidence in yourself, no one else can take that away. You are the best. Encourage yourself every day. It assists you in organizing and communicating your thoughts to others. It allows for immediate feedback. When I say immediate feedback, I watch each young person most of you were looking around, and you get vibes from how people are perceiving you. So in public speaking, you learn to read your audience. Now since all these, uh, you look at folks' faces, so you see if you're getting to them. Now, the thing about being my age is that I don't see very well, so I don't know whether you're getting it or not. <laughs> I also wanted to be uh, a comedian, a stand-up comedian, but people kept telling me to sit down. <laughs> They're supposed to laugh. Okay, now, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Public speaking enables you, it enables you to critique yourselves. You not only critique yourself, but you critique your presentation and your delivery. And what I want to point out is that your critique is really the most important critique how you view yourself, how you see yourself, how you want to progress. You're your own bar of success. So as you do your speeches throughout life, you wonderful leaders, look back if you have an opportunity of the things that you've done and you set the bar for your own self. You're great and continue to build on your greatness. Be relaxed and confident. And one thing about giving speech is that no one knows what you're gonna, what was going to say. So if you mess up, so what? They didn't know what you're going to say. They didn't look at your speech. So don't use that as a disabler for you. Always be prepared. Speak slowly and clearly. Keep a natural and engaging face. Know your topic well. And you leaders. You all knew your topic. You knew all about Mountain House. Now, for some things I could really fact check because I was around in Mountain House starting in 2003. Everybody's data was right on. Maintain meaningful contact with the audience. You know, pick out folks in the audience that you can make eye-to-eye eye, eye contact with so people want to be engaging. You look at people and they'll pretty well pay attention because they think that you're really looking at them. So they'll pay attention to you. Ask for and encourage questions. That was done a lot today. Be prepared to field the questions. When, when, someone, uh, when you ask a person, when they ask you a question, be prepared to give the answer. And if you don't know the answer, it's okay to say, you know, I don't have that answer for you, but I'll get back to you. Because that also helps with your credibility. And as a leader, you want to be credible. Don't use acronyms without providing the meaning up front. It's very important because sometimes people then they're not listening to you because they're really, I use the word tripping on, gee, what, is, what does that mean when they said, uh, well, even the, uh, the acronym MHMA, uh, uh, use what it means first and then use your acronym.
that's about all the, uh, the thoughts that I have, but you guys already have it down, guys and girls. You were exceptional. And one of the other things that's important is that don't talk too long, get to the point, and then get off the stage. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, could, all young, could all the young people who presented today, could you just please stand? All of them. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. And I do want to say. Uh, that I want to thank the leaders of this organization, uh, Amina Naveed. I want to thank you, and I want to thank whoever suggested that I be able to come and speak to the young people. Since I've been in Mountain House, since the beginning, young people have always been my heart. I enjoy interacting. They learn from me, but most importantly, I learn from them. But it's my pleasure. It does, does my heart good. And I've been through many things in Mountain House over the years. And this is one of the greatest. Thank you. Thank you, Bernice. I really believe in leading by example, and you certainly do that. And I know that motivational speech was pointed at the kids, but you motivated me as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to Mina Naveed as well for dedicating her time putting in so much effort to educate our kids and give them the small points that are needed to make them into great public speakers. Um, this is a little something for you from Mountain House Muslim Association. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you give me the mic as well because it take a few minutes and say something. Yes. Uh, I am actually um, short of words. The words are escaping me right now. Um, I just want to address my kiddos here. You have outperformed anyone today. I'm so, so proud of you. Um, I know uh, I should not be saying that, that I was not expecting this because I knew somewhere inside you, you were hiding that talent for this final day. And I am so proud of you, really so proud of you. Bernice, uh, just in um, kind of a, you know, short of our whole session, I was thinking, instead of all those 10 weeks, you could have just listened to these 10 minutes, and we have been good, right? Um, I have asked these kids at our last session that uh, you will be going there, you would not be representing yourself, or you would not be doing it as a speech for yourself. You will be representing me there. And I think these guys did an amazing job. Uh, so thank you for representing me. I think you have um, really, really, brought an honor to me. Thank you so much.